we have really built out the hydrogen ecosystem. And we started dreaming about how we could do 500 tons a day of green hydrogen. We actually have over 40 trailers on the road making sure our customers have hydrogen all the time. Hydrogen is really the Swiss army knife of this transition to renewable energy. You know, we're going to help the world get to net zero. And look, I know there's a lot of investors in this room. It's a big business opportunity. You know, people like, no, not Plug, people like Bloomberg and Goldman are talking about this being a 20% of world's energy coming from hydrogen. Could be a $10 trillion a year opportunity. It's huge. We are going to be the category king with green hydrogen. This here is a real, real cool picture. That's the first offshore electrolyzer. Really, really neat. But this business, as Oli's going to say, has a sales funnel of over $25 billion today. You know, sales funnel is not sales, but it just shows the level of interest in this business. And on top of that, uh, Oli's, Oli's going to talk about how we have 1.5 gigawatts of orders already for this product that we just really started. For the U.S. alone, our stationary products can be over a $350 billion opportunity in the near term. What is our mission at the heart of it all? We are trying to make hydrogen economical. We're trying to make hydrogen easy, and we're trying to make it ubiquitous. We are going to be the category king in this $10 trillion hydrogen economy. As the hydrogen economy continues to grow and evolve, liquefied hydrogen will play a critical role in the storage and transportation of the molecule. Compared to gaseous form, liquefied hydrogen significantly lowers the cost of transportation for last mile delivery and reduces the storage footprint at point of use facilities. We are focused on building hydrogen liquefaction plants that will help reduce our overall cost of delivered hydrogen to our customers. We are absolutely on track to be commissioning 200 tons per day by year end 2023. When we talk about green hydrogen, its role, that in itself is so fascinating. Right? This just gets you so excited. But when you actually come to the site and look at the infrastructure, as you can see here right in my back, this is what I call green hydrogen at work. In this site at 45 tons per day, we will have 120 megawatt of electrolyzer. By the way, that's us coming from our gigafactory, which is only 45 miles away from here. This plant will power as many as 50,000 forklifts. This plant can provide enough fuel to power 1,000 Class 8 trucks. This plant will provide enough fuel to power as many as 7,500 light commercial vehicles. It's really a reminiscence of uh, sort of the industrial revolution when you think about this plant in New York. You know, as we lit up the city of Buffalo and transition from kerosene to electricity, that's what we're trying to do here by going from diesel to green hydrogen, again, leveraging that hydropower from Niagara Falls some 100 years later. But we are looking to have about 100 tons of generation capacity in Europe sometime by 2026. Again, making us a major, major player in that market on our journey to get to that 1,000 tons per day by 2028. The most important thing of this Inflation Reduction Act, in our opinion, it's, it's a game changer. What it does is it makes green hydrogen economical versus every single form of gray hydrogen in the market today, period. It will make green hydrogen economical in refining, it will make green hydrogen economical in green ammonia, both for domestic consumption as well as potentially for export. It makes green hydrogen economical in methanol industry. That is already a 25,000 tons per day opportunity. Now, with this PTC, another thing you will also get is it improves the total cost of ownership for all of our application, stationary power, mobility power. With the passes of the production tax credit, payback will improve by at least four to five years meaningful benefit to the IRR of this plant. Second thing that is actually even transformational for the green hydrogen industry and hydrogen economy as a whole is you're going to see major capital formation here. We've been funding this plant with 100% capital. 
you know, 100% of our own equity capital. But with PTC, as some of these plans come online, what we think happens is you will at least get four to five times multiplier effect on that equity capital. As you see the capital stack change from 100% equity, maybe down to 40% at first, probably 30% again, and down to 20%. And this will follow a very similar pattern that you all saw in the solar and wind industry in the last decade. So the capital that we have allocated to build the green hydrogen network, we can probably use that money and do four to five times more than frankly even what we've talked about before. Now, it'll be a miss if I don't touch on how does the energy landscape evolve and change in light of everything that's going on. So some of the things we've been working on, somewhat behind the scene, if I may put it like that, we have been working on a very large integrated renewable and green hydrogen plants. You know, how do you think about hydrogen plants that are not even 75 tons a day, 100 tons a day, but the plants that are going to be in 1,000 tons per day? We've got a lot of effort going on in dedicated hydrogen pipeline and working with a lot of different partners on that front. We have a lot of work going on in long duration hydrogen storage, salt cavern. We've got a lot of work going on in that area as well. And as you really think about this long distance dedicated hydrogen pipeline with mega hydrogen sites, what you're going to see is you're actually gonna be able to move low cost renewable generation from the point of generation to demand center. That will help stabilize the electric grid and then all of a sudden you'll see hydrogen become that you know, solution, like Andy called it, a Swiss knife, that is not going to only decarbonize transportation or industrial application, but it can also decarbonize our electric grid as we think about the whole climate solution going forward. 